The day I really had decided to write the story, it was a day that uh, they, uh, I was taken in the early morning for execution or pretending of ex executing me. And that was the day I had decided to write my story and send a message to the whole world and especially to those that they support the human rights and tell them what has been going on in my country for decades. Well, there are a few parts that I can say it was really hard to write at Donegal. I mean, the first part was writing about my arrest, imprisonment, and torturing, and especially interrogation session. It was a kind of nightmare. I couldn't continue writing for a few days, and I stopped. And the next part I can say was the time that I sent out uh, my wife and two kids to out of country and I didn't know I would be able to see them again. And the hardest part was when I gave up. When I gave up my older son to a group of human smugglers with a slim chance to see him again. It brought my emotional back and I was thinking I am over with crying and I start crying again. Those part was really hard to remember and write it down. I had a feeling the life was beautiful again. I was the happiest man on earth. I could see them again. I could feel them. I could laugh with them. I could cry with them. And that was great not comparable with anything. We were together again. You can say yes in one way, because as I said uh, in, in previous answer, it's still regime of arresting people. And uh, in, in one way, I can say it's exactly the same situation that I was myself. And still a lot of people are uh, in, in jail. They have been torturing. And uh, even before uh, prosecuted or something, that they, they can kill them. And nobody realized what happened to them. And probably you, you, you heard from the media that they have been killed or committed suicide. Uh, themselves, that's not true. As a matter of fact, uh, I can say uh, a lot of them uh, were killed during their interrogation. It doesn't matter what you say. They, they make you, they force you to say the things that they want, not the truth. They are not looking for the truth. They are looking for the thing that they want, that they want to prove. For example, in my case, they were trying to make me a spy for CIA. That was not true. So it still is going on the same, the same situation in Iran. Well, the, this is my life story. But as well, maybe thousands of others that they had no choice or chance to write their story, my story is the reflection of other thousand as well. It means when they read my story, they realize they understand how many other people like Yadi been in Iran and they didn't have a chance to get out or they were not successful as I to their journey to freedom. And I would like Canadian support to those that they tried their best to, 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 to get out of the country or at least bring back the freedom that they need as we all are human beings. We have to think if someone in other war, in somewhere else, other country are in pain, are suffering, we have to care about, about them as well. I want Canadian care and realize my story is just 
like thousands of others that they never get a chance to write their story.